Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a quick look in on the worm chow only bin. And it looks like these guys have been making some really good castings for me. So let's let's flip through here and and see what we've got. Seems a little dry. It is furnace season, so that is to be expected in this neck of the woods. I don't think it's horrible, horrible dry, but definitely not. I don't want to get any drier in here. So let me, I'm going to go get some wet uh, pre-made bedding and uh, maybe that'll help out. I'm just going to give them one handful, one big heaping handful of the the bottom of the barrel, which is always wet. Um, if you haven't, you know, seen the video about how I make the bedding, I can uh, link that at the end of the video in the cards. But I think it helps. Now, of course, I have to keep a, you know, a big stash of that because I have a lot of worms. So each each room has its own. Um, big tote of the pre-made bedding so that I don't run out. All right, now let's get them some food. Okay, so like the rest of my bins, it has been probably almost a month since they've been fed. So I'm going to incorporate this so that the food can get in, you know, in with the moisture and they can get to it. Um, I know that I do find that the worm chow bin does get a little bit of mold. I'm not really sure which component that I put in there, if it's the cornmeal or the flour or the oatmeal that's prone to molding, but uh, I don't know, it kind of, uh, it's like a white mold or a blue mold, so I would say it's whatever is similar to what bread molds, so maybe the flour. But that's what's in my, my worm chow is uh, ground up oatmeal or powderized oatmeal, um, wheat flour, usually whatever's expired, and regular cornmeal, and then of course uh, some grit, some eggshell. And this bin is just populated by my regular um, Uncle Jim's mix, so it's got European night crawlers and blue worms and red wigglers in it. Um, but they are doing well. They all seem to be nice and wiggly and healthy. But just wanted to give you an update on this bin. And it does get a bit of a cover here with the, uh, you know, there's air around the edges, but you can tell right wherever I put this lid, it stays nice and moist. And usually the castings are darn near finished right underneath the lid. All right, guys, well, if you have any questions, put that below. And if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.